Genesis chapter 27. And it came to pass that when Isaac was old and his eyes were dim, so that he could not see, he called Esau, his eldest son, and said unto him, My son, and he said unto him, Behold, here am I. And he said, Behold, now I am old, I know not the day of my death. Now therefore take, I pray thee, thy weapons, thy quiver and thy bow, and go out to the field, and take me some venison. And make me savory meat, such as I love, and bring it to me, that I may eat, that my soul may bless thee before I die. And Rebekah heard when Isaac spake to Esau his son, and Esau went to the field to hunt for venison, and to bring it. And Rebekah spake unto Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I heard thy father speak unto Esau thy brother, saying, Bring me venison, and make me savory meat, that I may eat, and bless thee before the Lord before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Go now to the flock and fetch me from thence two good kids of the goats, and I will make them savory meat for thy father such as he loveth. And thou shalt bring it to thy father that he may eat, and that he may bless thee before his death. And Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, Behold, Esau my brother is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. My father, peradventure, will feel me, and I shall seem to him as a deceiver, and I shall bring a curse upon me and not a blessing. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy curse, my son. Only obey my voice, and go fetch me them. And he went and fetched and brought them to his mother, and his mother made savory meat, such as his father loved. And Rebekah took goodly raiment of her eldest son Esau, which were with her in the house, and put them upon Jacob, her younger son. And she put the skins of the kids of the goats upon his hands and upon the smooth of his neck. And she gave the, sa and she gave the savory meat and the bread, which she had prepared, into the hand of her son Jacob. And he came in unto his father and said, My father, and he said, Here am I, who art thou, my son? And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, thy firstborn. I have done according as thou badest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my venison, that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, my son, whether thou be my very son Esau or not. And Jacob went near unto Isaac his father, and he felt him and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he discerned him not, because his hands were hairy, and his brother Esau's hands, as his brother Esau's hands. So he blessed him, and he said, Art thou my very son Esau? And he said, I am. And he said, Bring it near me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat, and he brought him wine, and he drank. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now, and kiss me, my son. And he came near, and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his raiment, and blessed him, and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord hath blessed. Therefore give thee of the, therefore God give thee of the dew of the heaven, and the fatness of the earth, and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee, and nations bow down to thee. Be lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Cursed be every one that curseth thee, and blessed be he that blesseth thee. And it came to pass, as soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob, and Jacob had, was yet scarce gone out of the presence of Isaac his father, that Esau his brother came in from his hunting. And he also had made savory meat. And brought it unto his father, and said unto his father, Let my father arise, and eat of his son's venison, that thy soul may bless me. And Isaac his father said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly, and said, Who? Where is he that hath taken venison, and brought it to me? And I have eaten of all that before thou camest, and have blessed him, yea, and he shall be blessed. And when Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a great and exceeding bitter cry, and said unto his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. And he said, Thy brother came in subtlety, and hath taken away thy blessing. And he said, Is not he rightly named Jacob? For he hath supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright, 
And behold, now he hath taken away my blessing. And he said, Hast thou not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered, and he said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him thy lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants, and with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me even so also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass that when, when thou shalt have the dominion, thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then I will slay my brother Jacob. And these words of Esau, her elder son, were told to Rebekah. And she sent and called Jacob her younger son, and said unto him, Behold, thy brother Esau, as touching thee, doth comfort himself, proposing to kill thee. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice, and arise, Flee thou to Laban my brother to Haran, and tarry with him a few days until thy brother's fury turn away, until thy brother's anger turn away from thee, and he forget that which thou hast done to him. Then I will send and fetch thee from thence. Why should I be deprived also of you both in one day? And Rebekah said to Isaac, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of Heth. If Jacob take a wife of the daughters of Heth, such as these which are of the daughters of the land, what good shall my life be to me? This is one of those chapters that drives people nuts. Because none of it really makes any sense given the honesty and integrity of the people in every other aspect of their life. Uh, we can understand that uh, at some point Isaac's going to get old. He might not be able to see all that well, might not be able to hear all that well. He calls his preferred son in, Esau, and says, go get me some medicine, make me some savory meat, I really like it, and I'll give you a blessing. And then we have something which seems totally out of character. We have Rebecca, who has got the same integrity, the same power, the same desires to do righteously as we see in all of Abraham's life, and she asks her son to be deceitful. Now we know that God isn't going to support deceit. Doesn't happen, folks. And so being deceitful isn't necessarily going to get her anywhere. It isn't going to get Isaac any, or it isn't going to get Jacob anywhere either. And so the story doesn't really ring true to me. I suppose when we get over on the other side, we'll find out what it really was. And right now all of the negative is speculation. But here's the interesting side. At some point something happened. And Isaac gave Jacob the blessing of the firstborn. In other words, Isaac, as the oldest firstborn, he had the right to be the presiding officer. He had the right to inherit all the goods. That blessing went to Jacob. Esau hated Jacob for it and planned to kill him. Rebekah decided that in order to see to it that uh, Jacob wasn't killed by Esau, and that Esau was then not killed because he was a murderer, that they would send Jacob back to her brother Laban, back in Haran, to go find a wife for a couple of days and, and look there, and then she would send for him when Esau had forgotten what had happened. Now here's the interesting thing from my point of view. When people change stories in the Bible, they almost never go through and do it all. And what we find out in the very first few verses of the next chapter, chapter 28, is that Isaac reconfirms the blessing that he gave to Jacob, supposedly figuring that Jacob was in fact Esau. Now as the patriarch, he could either confirm it or reject it. That was his right, and he had the authority to do that. What he did was he reconfirmed it, which meant that he realized that that was the way it was supposed to be. That tells me that this chapter probably isn't quite 